Welcome to our series of Dynamics 365 and CRM 2016 how-to videos. This is a training course offered by Technology Management. Office 365 offers a suite of tools to meet various business needs. Over the past few years, there has been a huge focus on how Office 365 and Dynamics 365 can work together to help people collaborate and become even more productive. We've created a short set of how-to videos to show you how to integrate some key Office 365 applications with Dynamics 365. If you can't see the topic you're looking for help on in our current list, or if there are other topics that you think would be helpful to you, then please drop us an email at hello at techman.co.uk and we'll see if we can get them added in for you. SharePoint integration. SharePoint integration allows you to use the document management capabilities of SharePoint directly within Dynamics 365. This allows users to take advantage of key SharePoint features such as checking documents in and out, version control, review and approval processes. Because documents are stored on SharePoint, it also means that non-D365 users can access those documents, providing they have the relevant permissions. This promotes better collaboration and teamwork across the organisation. To do this, we navigate to Settings, Document Management, and then we choose Enable Server-Based SharePoint Integration. This will load up a wizard setup form. We select whether your SharePoint site is online or on-premise. In this example, we're connecting to an online instance. Then click Next. Enter the URL for your SharePoint site and then click Next when complete. The site will then be validated. Once validation has been successfully completed, click on Enable and then Finish. Next, you need to set up which entities you want to enable for document management within SharePoint. So we're already within settings and document management. Within this section, we choose document management settings. This will load a list of entities. Tick the entities that you wish to enable for document management. Once you're happy, enter the URL of the SharePoint site where you want the documents to be stored and then click Next. Now you need to select the folder structure that you want to use. There are two options available here. Leave based on entity unticked. This means that a separate folder will be created for each individual entity that you have selected, i.e. a folder for accounts, a folder for opportunities, a folder for quotes. Or you can tick based on entity and if you select account as the base entity, it means it will create a main folder with the account name and then create subfolders for related entities, e.g. cases, opportunities and quotes. Select the relevant option. In this example, we're going to opt for a folder structure based on the account entity. Then click Next. This will start the process of creating the document libraries. Please note, this process can take several minutes to complete. Once complete, a summary page will be displayed. This will also show any folders that failed to be created along with a failure reason. Click on Finish. Now we navigate to an account record. On the account record, we click on the arrow next to the account name in the top ribbon and select Documents. This will load the document location directly in Dynamics 365, where users then have the option to view, create and upload new documents.